heard of turtles, but a live presentation of Retro Sports Network. Home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. You know, some days I think that the streaming gods are against me. First of all, it wouldn't activate my Twitch stream four minutes ago, and so we're late to start the game. Second, this was apparently, as we said before, with some other games, this was one that was as scheduled, but not necessarily as played, so there is no lineup. So I made the lineups for these two teams tonight. And third, it's raining at Sportsman's Park in St. Louis, where this game is big, big, big game between the Brooklyn Dodgers and the St. Louis Cardinals, who are 62 or 35. The Dodgers are 59 and 36. And so, I think with all that, let's just get this one in. Did you know that we have three inches of snow on the ground where I am, too? It's a Wednesday, April 21st. Hope you enjoyed your Taco Tuesday. Let's play some baseball, shall we? As Retro Sports Network presents Major League Replay 1949 tonight. July 29th, 1949, from Sportsman's Park in St. Louis, Missouri. It is the St. Louis Cardinals and Brooklyn Dodgers, the top two teams in the National League going head-to-head. -head. And tonight's game is brought to you by DigitalAdvice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else. Find podcasts are listed. All right. Let's go. And you know what? Just for you, Gardner, just for you, tickle me almost in left field. Anyway, so it's a big one. Since our last game, the Cardinals and Dodgers were tied. Brooklyn lost to in at Wrigley Field to Chicago, and St. Louis beat Philadelphia twice here. So the Cardinals have a two-game lead over Brooklyn coming to this one. And, yep, this is the lunchtime special tomorrow. Howie Pullett coming on the hill for the St. Louis Cardinals, making his 18th start of the year. He's a fastball pitcher and a ground ball pitcher at 85. His fourth start against the Dodgers, and they've had a lot of success against him. Yep. No, it's not a question. He's a race pitcher. Howie... 28 in the third innings, 37 hits, 20 runs, 18 earned. I'd tell a mod to, to ban you, but you are a mod. 20 runs, 18 earned. He walked 9 and struck out 9. He's 0-3 against Brooklyn with a 572 ERA. And, real, and on the replay, 9-4 with a save and an ERA of 346. His last start was five days ago against Brooklyn at Ebbets Field in a loss. Eight and two thirds innings, twelve hits, six runs, four earned. He walked two, and struck out one. So he said nine and four with a save and a three four six ERA and 143 innings, 139 hits, 62 runs, four homers, 55 earned. He was walked 42 and struck out 75. The lineup that he will face: Pee Wee Reese leads off at short. Billy Cox will bat second and play third. Duke Snyder in center field will hit third. Jackie Robinson still hitting 401 cleans up. Carl Ferrillo in right bats fifth. So, so tell me, Mr. Gardner, are you actually playing hockey or what are you doing? Gil Hodges is at first. He'll bat sixth. Roy Campanella behind the plate bats seventh. Tickle me, Louis Olmo is in left field. He'll bat eighth. He's hitting 400. He's setting up some shootout, okay? And Preacher Rowe is on the mound, batting ninth. Defensively for the Cardinals on this rainy night in St. Louis, Enos Slaughter is a five and a four. And left, Chuck D-Ring is a six and a six in center. And Stan Musial is a nine and a seven in right. Tommy Glaviano is in now for Eddie Kasich, who is out the rest of the year. He's an eight at third. Barney Marion is a nine at short. Red Shane Deans to nine at second. Nippy Jones is cold. He's a six at first, although it is an 88-degree evening here in St. Louis. And Dale Rice 
will face the lefty row or the righty. He's a five and a four behind the plate. Pullet is a five fielder with a 955 fielding percentage. Pee Wee at 307, nine homers and 62 RBI. And this big battle starts with a ground ball to third. Glaviano over to first, one out. Brings up Billy Cox. It is raining here in St. Louis. The wind is blowing right to left at 13. Cox at 202. Four homers and 25 RBI. And there's a fly ball left center field. D-ring runs a long way and makes a catch. On the track in left center. Two out for Duke Snyder. Who normally would bat eighth against lefties, but... I'm going to bat him third. 281, 17 homers, and 58 RBI. Tomorrow's game does have real lineups. Here's a ground ball, base hit, left side. Snyder done that one past Glaviano, and that's the first hit of the ball game. Brings up Jackie Robinson. His hitting streak has been stopped. Still hitting 401, 28 doubles. 12 homers and 75 RBI. There's a fly ball to left. Slaughter is there and he'll make the catch and that will retire the side. No runs. They leave a run. Brooklyn leaves a runner on. Nowhere. It's half an inning in the books. Dodgers, nothing. Here come the cards. And I'm right, Preacher, Preacher Rowe is a lefty. He is making start number 17 on the replay. He is 10 and 4 with a 3.60 ERA. This is his fifth start against St. Louis. 32 innings, 32 hits, 16 runs, 15 earned. He walked 5 and struck out 10. He is 2 and 1 against Brook or St. Louis, rather. With a 4.22 ERA, including a seven-inning loss on the 22nd, a week ago tonight, he went seven innings, allowed seven hits, five runs, all earned, a walk, and a strikeout. He threw a he's thrown 125 innings, 135 hits, has allowed 14 homers, 56 runs, 50 earned. He's walked 23 and struck out 65. Mr. Rowe is 34, a fastball pitcher, 82. And a fly ball plus pitcher, which on this rainy night in a big ballpark will actually work to his advantage. Chuck Deering will lead it off in center field for St. Louis. Ina Slaughter and left will bat second. Stan Musial is in right field. He'll hit third. Nippy Jones cleans up at first. Red Shane Deans to a bat fifth at second base. Tommy Glaviano is now the new third baseman for St. Louis. He'll bat sixth. Marty Marion will hit seventh at short. Del Rice, righty versus lefty behind the plate, goes eighth. And Pullet, who threw six pitches in his half of the first, will bat ninth. Defensively for Brooklyn, Billy Olmo, or Louis Olmo is a two and a six in left. Duke Snyder, a 9 and an 8 in center. Carl Ferrillo, an 8 and 10 in right. Billy Cox is a 5 at third. Pee Wee Reese, a 9 at short. Jackie Robinson, an 8 at second. Gil Hodges, a 9 at first. Campanella, a 9 and a 6 behind the plate. And Rowe is a 6 on the mound with a 944 fielding percentage. Deering at 321, a homer and 17 RBI. And he hits one in the left center field for a base hit. Olmo will pick it up. Cox does not make a good play. And Deering leads off the ball game for St. Louis with a single. Here's Slaughter, 343. Eight homers and 57 RBI. Mr. Gardner and I interviewed the one of the big shots today at OOTP. And had a very good interview. And that's been posted on digitaladice.com. Slaughter 
Strikes out. He looked at a 1-2 fastball for strike three. One out. From usual. Stan at 323. How you doing, Tribe fan? 20 homers and 81 RBI. These two teams tomorrow at noon Eastern. Pitch to Musial. Popped up. Robinson will get it by the bag. One out or two out. Here's Nippy Jones. Nippy at 377. Seven homers and 53 RBI. Here's a fly ball to left. Olmo is there. And that will retire the side. St. Louis leaves a runner around on a hit after one. No score. So Ferrillo, Hodges, and Campanella. Ferrillo at 322. He's real life batting average. Already has 20 homers and has driven in 103. Game 97 for Brooklyn and game 98 for St. Louis. Wasn't that funny? Someone used ephemeral for in, in response a few days ago for something. And I just thought that was perfect. But we have your snow, by the way. We have about three inches here in Burlington. Pitch to Ferrillo is a ground ball base hit. Musial will pick it up. And Ferrillo's hurt. And Ferrillo's done. He tweaked his hammy. And Gene Hermansky stays in the ball game. How much did you get in the Cleveland area, Tim? Gil Hodges at 332. 14 homers and 77 RBI. Hodges swings and drives this one into left center. Slaughter is there for the out. One away. Here's Campanella at 327. 17 homers and 55 RBI. In the right center, D ring will come in and make the catch. Two out. Two to three inches of wet snow. That's about what we have here. Just enough to be annoying on this 21st day of April. Mr. Gardner had a thunderstorm today. All right, here's Louis Olmo. Louis at 400 with 10 RBI. And he sent a note up saying, The Tickle Me stuff has got to stop. I'm Olmo, not Elmo. I am not a Christmas toy. And he drives a base in into right field. Hermansky goes to third. And the Dodgers have runners on the corners and two out for Preacher Rowe. The pitcher hitting 156, no homers, and six RBI. You know, it never fails to be pretty. Tribe fan says we'll get the last pictures of snow on trees until October or November. And being a Thanksgiving baby myself, you kind of expect to have snow on the ground. This will be gone by tomorrow midday. Pitch to row is a ground ball up the middle. Pull it over to first, and the Dodgers don't get anything. They'll leave two on. No runs, two hits, and no errors. Inning and a half in the books, no score. So Shane Deanst... Laviano and Marion to face Rowe. Shane Deans, 304, two homers and 40 RBI. And there's a line drive foul, third base side. Somebody from Illinois made that catch. And the count is 0 and 2. In the left, Olmo will make the catch. Hermansky, by the way, stays in the game and right. He is not really a good right fielder. He is a two and a six. And he certainly is not as good of a bat as Ferrillo. Here's Tommy Glaviano. Some chaw on the side of his mouth. Tommy at 239. A homer and eight RBI. Remember, Eddie Kazik, the all-star, is hurt 
And that will do it for his pretty much his MLB career. Ball four. So Glaviano looks at a 3-1 in tight or 3-0 in tight. Here's Marty Marion. 272, eight homers and 42 RBI. D. Scott rubbing. Not often that somebody from the state of Washington will rub in the weather, but we'll let him do it. 75 and sunny as he is goat sitting. You milk them too? Or are they not milkers? Pitch to Marion is a fly ball to left. Olmo will make the catch. Glaviano will bluff and hold. And I'll bring up Dell Rice. Dell at 283, two homers and 21 RBI. No score, bottom of the second. Cardinals now with a two game lead over the Dodgers as this big series starts in St. Louis. Popped up. Campanella dodges the raindrops and makes the catch. No runs, no hits, no errors. After two, no score. So Pullet, although it looks like Pollet, it's pronounced Pullet, is opening nine on 28 pitches, two innings, three hits. Reese is 0 for 1. And there's a shot down the line all the way and left. Glaviano makes a bad play, and Reese is in the second with a stand-up double. The fourth hit for the Dodgers, and that'll bring up Billy Cox, who is 0 for 1. Uh, um, no, in capital letters, I'm being told by D. Scott Howard. Just a bunch of boys. Okay, Nigerian pygmy goats. Now, that's a type of conversation you never hear on a Fortnite stream. You know that? Nigerian pygmy goats. What makes them special? 22nd double of the year, by the way, for Reese. Pitch to Cox is a ground ball base hit. Deering will pick it up. Not good defense by St. Louis at all. Reese will round third. Deering fires to the plate, and Pee Wee beat it out. He slides in the mud in a safe, and it's 1 0 Brooklyn. But that is the fourth poor play of the game defensively for St. Louis. And there's nobody out here in the top of the third. Here's Snyder. He singled his first time up. Popped up. Marion and Shane Dean go for it. Marion calls for it by the bag. It's second one out. And that'll bring up Jackie Robinson. Jackie's 0 for 1. And his average now dips below 400. It's a 399. There goes Cox. Hit and run is on. Jones grabs it on the grass. Takes it to the bag himself. Billy goes to second. And Robinson's hurt. Tweet to calf muscle, but he says I'll stay in the game. So Cox on second. Two out for Hermansky, who is in for... Carl Fervillo, who tweaked his hammy. Gene, 317, 5 homers and 17 RBI. Back to the Nigerian pygmy goats. Conversation I never think I'd have on a stream, let alone a Fortnite one. Cuteness. Originally imported by zoos as food. Really? For like lions and tigers and bears, oh my? But zookeepers started turning them into pets. I see one of those, the dodo videos on something like that, you know? Let me do that in a Vin Scully for you. Nigerian pygmy goats are around because of their cuteness. Originally imported by zoos as food. But zookeepers, God bless them, Started turning them into pets. Pitch to Hermansky is a line drive to Shane Deans, and that will retire the side. Jackie says he's okay. Brooklyn gets a run on two hits and no errors. After two and a half, one nothing Brooklyn. 
You can just hear Vinny telling that story, can't you, though, D. Scott? Here's Pullet. How he at two? Yeah, two thirty-one. No homers and two RBI. Oh, I got booted. I'm back. It welcomed me back to my own chat room. Pitch to Howie is a fly ball to right. Hermansky in the corner makes the catch. One out. So, to repeat, that's right. And if you're looking for something to eat yourself, why not go to Safeway and get a thing of Farmer John hot dogs? Great with some Goulden's mustard. And then after, don't forget to call 1-800-DODGERS. We got tickets for the next homestand. San Diego and Colorado coming to Dodger Stadium. Where's Lorenzo when you need him? Here's Deering. He singled his first time up. First nine for row on 21 pitches. Two and a third innings. A hit. A walk and a strikeout. And there's a slow roar to Robinson on the grass over to Hodges for the out. So here's Ina Slaughter. Slaughter struck out his first time up. He doesn't do that very often. Just 37 times in 568 real life at bats. One nothing Dodgers, bottom of the third. There's a base hit up the middle. Slaughter will get two. Snyder throws it back in. That's the 26 double for Slaughter. Two out from Usual. Who is 0 for 1. There's a line drive down the line and right. Usual will have two. Jones will, or I'm sorry. Slaughter scores. Open up a Maldito. The Cardinals have tied this game. So Stan, the man's 33rd double of the year. And that will bring up Nippy Jones, who's 0 for 1. Pitch from Rowe. There's a base hit right center field. Musial around third and score. The Cardinals go up 2-1. to one. Jones continues just to hit everything and now has a 10-game hitting streak. So the Cardinals bounce right back with two here in the bottom of the inning. Here's Shane Dean sees 0 for 1. Up the middle, Rose stabs it over to Hodges, and that will retire the side. But with two out, the Cardinals put two on the board on three hits and no errors. We go to the fourth. St. Louis 2, Brooklyn 1. And so here's the story. St. Louis now 62 and 35. They've won three straight, six of ten, and are 38 and seven here at Sportsman's Park. The Dodgers have lost two straight. Not only have the Dodgers lost two straight, but they lost to the Chicago Cubs, who are 32 and 65. In the immortal words of Dana Carvey playing George Bush, that's bad. That's bad. At Ebbets Field, they are 40 and 11. And Tribe fan is right. The Yankees are looking. The American are going to are looking to make the American League a joke. They have won seven straight and have an eight-game lead over Cleveland, 14 and a half over Washington, 15 and a half over the Tigers, 16 and a half over Boston. The Browns are in last at 23. The National League has five teams over 500. The Braves are 50 and 47. And again, no National League team has a winning record on the road. And even the, the mighty Yankees are only four above.
86 degrees now. We start the top of the fourth. Hodges 0 for 1. And there's a line drive to Shane Deans. One out. Here's Campanella. He's 0 for 1. Remember, in real life, the Yankees won on the last weekend of the season over the Red Sox. The American League will keep doing games for them, but it's the New York Yankees world, and we're just allowed to live there. To third, Glaviano, snap throw to Jones. That time in a good throw, and Campanella's retired to up. So again, tickle me Elmo at the plate. Louis singled his first time up. Strike three, got away from Rice to throw down to first, and Omo is retired. And that takes care of the side. The Dodgers go in order. Bottom four now, 2-1. So Glaviano, Marion, and Rice to face Rowe. Tommy Watt his first time up. This time around, a fly ball to right. Hermansky's there, makes the catch. One out. So here's Marty Mary, and Marty's 0 for 1. These two teams, including tonight, will play seven more seven more games. Six after tonight. The Dodgers have won 10 of 15 and outscored the Cardinals 90 to 58. So a short series at some point, but this, as far as St. Louis is concerned, is their best way to keep a stranglehold on the National League. Got him. Swings and misses on a 1-2 changeup. Here's Rice. He's 0 for 1. Two out. Got him again in 0-2. He was look. I don't know what he was looking for. He looked at the Bugs Bunny fastball, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. After four, Cardinals two, Dodgers one. So it'll be Roe, Reese, and Cox to face Pullet here in the fifth. And Preacher is 0 for 1. And we've had a rain delay. Did you notice it? 11 minutes, that won't change anything. Rose pitch count drops to 115 and Pullets to 125. So, 11 minutes, just enough time for you to get a full staff or a Maldito, depending on who you're rooting for. The rain has stopped. The wind is now blowing in straight from right at 12. And Pullet got him. A 1-2 curve looking at 80, and there's one out for Pee Wee. So Poet, 61 pitches through four and a third. 18 batters, five hits, two runs, but only one earned. And he has struck out two. I'm sorry, one run, and it's earned. And he has struck out two. Pee Wee doubled and scored the run. That came in the third. To short, Marion over to Jones for the out. Two out for Cox. Billy is one for two. And the RBI single. Ground ball to Shane Deanst over to Jones. And that will retire the side. So, halfway home, we get to the commercial. Two to one, St. Louis. One should not wrestle with their drink. If you join us late, here's how we got here. Carl Ferrillo injured, running on a grounder in the second, so Gene Hermansky is in right for the rest of the day. 
Brooklyn got on the board in the third inning. Billy Cox singled home Pee Wee Reese to make it one nothing. Then the Cardinals jumped back with two in the bottom of the inning. Stan Musial doubled home a run to tie the game at one. Then Nippy Jones singled to make Musial to score Musial to make it two to one St. Louis. Nippy now has a ten game hitting streak. It makes it look like Preacher Rowe held a sermon on the mound for eleven minutes, but it really was a rain delay. Row a four hitter through four, pull in a five hitter through five. And Howie leads off the fifth, he's 0 for 1. Deering on deck. There's a foul ball right side. Hodges running a long way. But it's up and out of play. And the count is full at 3 and 2. You don't need to make the beer league walk here, Preacher. There's a fly ball right center field. That's going to drop in front of Hermansky for a single. So 59 pitches through 18 batters for Rowe. Four plus innings, five hits. Both runs are earned. Walked one and struck out three. Campanella goes out to talk to Rowe. Preacher deals, and it's a pop-up right side. Hodges again in foul territory. Makes the out. Catch for the out. Here's Enos Slaughter. Enos one for two. It has doubled and struck out. He scored in the third. Got him. A one-two. Swung on and missed on the 82-mile-an-hour fastball. That's the fourth for Rowe. Here's Musial. Stan drove in the other run. He had his 33rd double of the year. At 41 in the real year. And an OPS of 1,062. His OPS at 987 isn't bad at all. But 1,062 is impressive. Ball four. So here's Nippy Jones. Nippy one for two. He is singled and driven in a run. Dave Gardner, by the way, is thinking of jumping in to do a fictional league in OOTP. So what would you guys give him for tips on how to enjoy that if he was just a coach? Pitch to Jones is popped up. Cox is going to run out of real estate, and that's fouled on the third base side. Count is a ball and two strikes. Somebody from Yogi Bear's neighborhood made that catch. Rose pitch. There's a ground ball up the middle. Reese has it. Great play. Flips it to Jackie for the out at second. And that will retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. After five, two to one, St. Louis. So it'll be Snyder, Robinson, and Hermansky here in the sixth. Snyder, one for two with a single. And this time he strikes out an 0 oh, 2. A fastball, I think Snyder was thinking changeup. And he shakes his head as he goes back to the dugout, one away. Here's Robinson. Jackie tweaked a calf muscle his last time up. He's fine. He's 0 for 2. And here's a base hit all the way to the wall in center field. And Robinson has his 29th double. And the batting average pops back to 400. So here's Hermansky. Gene is 0 for 1. Yet Yogi and Joe Garagiola were from the hill. Joe made Yogi a lot of money on the banquet circuit just from all the stories. Hermansky line drive to Shane Deans who leaps and makes a good play. Two out. Here's Hodges. Gill is 0 for 2. Ball four. 
So runners on first and second, two out for Campanella. And there really is an outside of Cox in the pitcher spot, a safe place to pitch to in this Dodger lineup. Here's a line drive to left. Slaughter will dive on the wet grass and can't get it. Robinson rounds third and scores. Hodges is on third and Campanella has a double. And we are tied at two. So two out for Olmo, who has singled and struck out. Rice goes out to calm down, Pullet. And Olmo draws the walk. They're loaded for row. So the rain delay was short. It was only 11 minutes. But Pullet really hasn't pitched well since then. Rowe is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Base is loaded. There's a base hit left center field. Hodges will score. Campanella will score. The throw goes into the infield. And the Dodgers take a 4-2 lead. As you said, there really is just no safe place to pitch to this Brooklyn team. Here's Pee Wee. He's 1 for 3. He has doubled and scored. So Pullet, through 27 batters, 84 pitches, five and two thirds innings, eight hits, two run or two walks, and three strikeouts. All four runs are earned, and you're now hearing chants of "Go Blue" from the crowd, which makes the St. Louis Cardinal fans unhappy. First and second, pitch to Reese, right up the middle. Pollitt stabs it over to first, and that will retire the side. Not before the Dodgers get three runs on three hits and no errors. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning here in St. Louis. The Dodgers four, the Cardinals two. So Shane Deans to Glaviano and Marion to face Rowe. Shane Dean stole for two. In the right, Hermansky will track that one down and make a good catch against the wall. Technically, that was in foul ground, and he's skidding around on that wet warning track out there. One out for Glaviano, who has walked and is 0 for 1. In the left field, Olmo, two out. Our friend Mr. Mike Sports Time Machine had a no-hitter the other day on this channel. 72 Cubs. Still a good team in 72. Is that Bill Hands? It's not who you would have suspected to be the Cubs pitcher who threw a no-hitter. Always fun when you get one of those. I've had three. I've never rolled one in cards and dice. They were in... I've had two thrown by the Yankees. Pitch to Marion is a fly ball, shallow right center. Snyder rides the swing, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the seventh. It's four to two, Brooklyn. So Billy Cox, Duke Snyder, and Jackie Robinson to face Pullet here in the seventh. Yep, Mike McAllister still needs your thoughts and prayers. He is a member now of the Triple by class, Bypass Club. Sore, but the surgery was done. And hopefully successful for Mr. McAllister. So Mike resting comfortably out in the Portland, Oregon area. And we're thinking of you, buddy. Yeah, good news. Always good news when you can post that yourself. Here's Cox. He's one for three. He's single and has an RBI. Here's a fly ball to right. Musial comes in one out. Mike, an early fan of the channel. He has not felt well for a long time. 
and hopefully he will be on the mend. Here's Snyder one for three with a strikeout. In the center, D ring in the left center makes the catch two out. Now what? A road closure in my county. Jackie Robinson is one for three. He ripped a double in in the sixth and later scored. He's got an OPS of 1,069, which is tremendous. And, of course, he is the real-life National League MVP. Ground ball to Marion on the grass. Bang, banger. Robinson is out. Oh, what a throw by Marion. A bang, banger. Stretch time. And so Marion, who gets a little bit of grief from some of the crowd here about being the 44 National League MVP, picked that ball right off the cut of the grass. In fact, it was kind of hopping on the dirt and just flung it as hard as he could. Jackie Robinson is not easy to throw out. And retired him to retire the side. D. Scott spent a great afternoon playing APA baseball with Mike a few years ago when the goats lived outside of Portland. That must be fun. Not a lot of us get the chance to meet each other in person. But that's the way to do it for sure. Pitch to Rice. Ball four. So the tying run is the pitcher. And we're going to play for the bunt. Well, the Dodgers are, Cox and Hodges. And I'll give it to him. He squares Campanella, lets it roll foul. And so the count is 0-2. Squares again, bunt is down. Hodges this time picks it up and throws to second. And throws it away! And so instead of getting the fielder's choice, Brooklyn gets nobody. Rice is on second. Pullet is on first. Yep. That's how you don't do it. So the Dodgers gambled to get the lead runner in Rice. And instead they get the year supply of cream Ets. Nobody out. Tying run on first for Deering, who's one for three. So row through 27, 99 pitches, six plus innings, five hits, three walks and four strikeouts. And remember, this Dodger pen is going to make you go for that cold bottle of Maldito. Pitch to Deering is a line drive foul, third base side, and a count is one and two. Rowe collects himself in the right. Hermansky in the corner will make the catch. Rice will tag and will go to third and is safe. Pullet moves to second with one out. And the Cardinals have the tying run in scoring position for Ina Slaughter. who was one for three. With two strikeouts and a run scored. So the Cardinals, you know what? You know what? I'm going to say this line. I heard Will Fleming say this last night on the Red Sox game, and I just about fell out of bed. They're cooking with gas. I've never heard that on a game. I say it. He's not a listener to Retro Sports Network, is he? Someone else must have said that at some point. 
Pitch to Slaughter. There's a ground ball to third. Cox goes home with it. Rice is in a rundown. Campanella tags him. And they get the lead runner finally with two out. Now, Pullet still on second. Slaughter on first. So that's the good news is that they didn't score if you're a Dodger fan. The bad news here is here's Stan Musial. It's one for two with a double. His 82nd RBI, he scored his 74th run and walked. So two on, two out, 4-2 Dodgers, bottom of the seventh. And there's a fly ball to right. Hermansky doesn't have to move too far, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits. The Cardinals strand two. After seven, Brooklyn four, St. Louis two. So Hermansky, Hodges, and Campbell, or Campanella. Yeah, I've, you know, that was something you'd hear at home. Now you're cooking with gas. But I've never, you know, I've said it here on the stream, but I've never heard it used in a real game. Hermansky's 0 for 2 since coming in for Carl Ferrillo. Round ball to second. Shane Dean's behind the bag. Over to first. One out. Here's Hodges. Gill a run scored and a walk. By the way, Wednesday is now day five since my second shot. My arm's still a little bit sore. But all out feeling fine. Doesn't make me a better announcer. And the sore arm was the big thing this time around. Pitch to Hodges. There's a ground ball base hit. Shane Deans couldn't get there. And that's the ninth. Base hit for Brooklyn. Here's Campanella. Roy doubled. One for three. Drove in run number 56 and scored number 51. There's a base hit in the left field. Drops in front of Slaughter, who got a late jump on it. And that's the 10th hit for Brooklyn. Here's Olmo. Louis tickled a single. Walked and struck out. He's one for two. So Pullet probably coming to the end of the line here. His defense has not been his friend, although there's no errors for St. Louis. They certainly have let some runners on. There's a base hit in the left field. Slaughter picks it up. Hodges will hold it third, and they are loaded with one out for Preacher Row. <clears throat> who already has a two-run single. That came in the sixth. He now has eight RBI on the replay. He's one for three. He also has struck out. Cardinals playing back. They want to, but if they strike him out, good for him. And they're going to pinch hit. So Mike McCormick will come in. Mike looking just so happy to be here in his 49 Bowman card. 189, no homers, and 10 RBI. He draws one foul for a space side. That's not a single, it's a foul, and the count goes to 0-2. Again, the Cardinals would like a double play. They will take a strikeout. The 0-2 to McCormick. is a ground ball to pull it. A try for two. Shane Deans for one. Over to Jones and they turn it. He could have gone either way. He was going to get that runner a home. But he wanted two and they get out of it. So the inning ends with the Brooklyn leaving a runner on. It's still 4-2. Uh-oh. They won't be happy. Tommy Brown now is in left field for Brooklyn. Surprised they didn't switch Hermansky over. He's a five and a six. And Rex Barney comes in now to get six outs. Barney will be in the nine spot. Rex is six and zero oh with two saves. No, I'm not talking to you. Sorry, 
I don't know that. That's okay. The speaker and I were having a conversation. Barney is 6-0 and with two saves and a 5.06 ERA. Making his 22nd appearance of the year. This will be number three against the Cardinals. An inning and a two-thirds, four hits, a run it was earned. He has walked one and struck out one. A save and an ERA of 540. Just 24. And, of course, you'd know him better as the public address announcer when the Orioles played at Memorial. Fastball pitcher at 93 and a fly ball pitcher. Last went against the Pirates on the 20th, so plenty of rest. An inning, a hit, two runs, both earned. He somehow won the game. He walked three and struck out one. So 78 in the third inning, 66 hits, 11 runs, 46 earned, or 46 in total, 44 earned. He has walked 55 and struck out 46. So Barney is a righty. Jones one for three. He has singled and driven in a run. Barney is not a good fielder. He's a two range and an 875 fielding percentage. Jones into right. Hermansky one out. Hermansky down the line to make that catch. And then I'll bring up Shane Deans to his old for three. Barney deals. Popped up Hodges in the foul territory. First base side and no. Oh. So the count, two and two. This should be Barney's game to finish. There's a fly ball to left. Brown gets his first chance. Two out. Reese, Cox, and Snyder in the ninth. Laviano is 0 for 2 for St. Louis. Also walked. Barney deals. Ball four. So the tying run is at the plate for Barney Marion. Who is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. The pitch. In the right center, Snyder comes in, makes the catch, and that will retire the side. They'll let Poet start the inning. No runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the ninth here in St. Louis. The rain has cooled it off a bit. It's just 80 degrees, but the Dodgers lead 4-2. to two. So Reese, Cox, and Snyder. Pee-wee one for four with a double and a run scored. Pull it through 36 batters, just 113 pitches, 8 innings, 11 hits. He walked 2 and struck out 3. There's a fly ball to left. Back goes Slaughter, 1 out. Chased him all the way down the line, but Enos made the catch. So here's Cox, 1 for 4, single and RBI. Line drive to third. Glaviano leaps and makes a good catch. Two out. So we'll see about Rice, a pinch hitter, and D-ring for St. Louis against Barney in the bottom of the ninth. But Duke Snyder has a say about the top of the ninth. Two out, one for four, the strikeout. Popped up, foul ball, third base side, and another souvenir. Noon time tomorrow, these two teams will take place again here on Retro Sports Network. The 0 2. In the center field, Deering dives and makes a catch to retire the side. So the Dodgers go in order. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. It's Brooklyn 4, St. Louis 2. So, who can hit a righty? Joe Garagiola can. Joe at 285, a full head of hair. Three homers and 26 RBIs. Matches real life numbers. Pitch from Barney. There's a ground ball to third. Foul. 
and the count is two and two. If you're wondering, the last time we saw Gary Giola, he got into it with Jackie Robinson. We are told that they met the last time that St. Louis was in Brooklyn, which was in last week, and mended fences. So everything is copacetic between the loquacious Gary Giola and the elegant Robinson. Pitch to Gary Giola as a fly ball to the left back goes Brown to the track. One out. And that will bring up a pinch hitter. And Ron Northey. Ron at 267. Four homers and 34 RBI. One out, bottom of the ninth, 4-2, Brooklyn. Ball four. So I'll bring up Deering. Chuck one for four with a single. He is the tying run. Barney deals. Ground ball to Reese. It should end it. Robinson for one. Deering puts on the afterburners and beats it out. So, 6-4 on the fours. And again, Deering is on two out for Slaughter, who is now the tying run. Enos one for four. With a double, a run scored, and two strikeouts. Barney deals. Up the middle. Poked a peewee. Takes it to the bag himself, and the Dodgers get a big win. The lead now in the National League is one. Four runs, 11 hits, and an error for the Dodgers. They go to 60 and 36. St. Louis, 62 and 36. Two runs, five hits, and no errors. Preacher Rowe, your digital dice player of the game. Seven innings, five hits. Two runs, both earned. He walked three and struck out four. Rex Barney. Doesn't allow a hit. Two base runners, but got them all. A two-inning save is third. And Howie Pollock goes the distance. He drops to nine and five. Nine innings, 11 hits. Four runs all earned. He walked two and struck out three. I should know by now which buttons are which. And so the rest of this Friday in baseball... As the lead stretches or goes down to one. At Wrigley, Philadelphia beat the Cubs four to two. Meyer seven and seven. Dubiel three and six. Sisler two for three. His fifth of the year with two RBI. St. Louis shuts out Washington five nothing. Ostrowski goes to five and two. Week one and five. Moss two for three with a double. The, Phil, the A's beat the Tigers 6-3. Fowler goes to 7-9. Houdeman 3-9. Pete Suter 2-4. for four, is fifth of the year with a double. The Yankees just pound the White Sox 15-4. Phil Rizzuto with 4 hits. Billy Johnson 2 homers and 5 RBI. 17 hits in total. Fred Sanford hit TV show and is now 4-5 and five on the year. Hafner is 0-1. Johnson now has 10 homers. Boston beat Cleveland. Be still my beating heart. Dobson goes to 11 and 6. The final 2 and 1. 2 to 1. Mike Garcia takes the loss. Bobby Dore. 2 for 3 is 16th of the year with 2 RBI. Pittsburgh beats the Braves 5 to 4. Gumbert 1 and 0. Oh. Johnny Sane falls to 7 and 11. Oh, not thank heaven if you're a Braves fan. Sibby Sisti, two for four with a homer. And the Giants have now won 11 straight. Dave Coslow shuts out the Reds, 6-0. Waymeyer takes the loss. Coslow with one strikeout. He goes to 10-4. and four. I thought I changed this. I did now. Yeah, happy totals tonight. A good one. These two teams tomorrow at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. 
As we leave you the standings, the Cardinals up by one over the Dodgers, and the Giants have cut their deficit to seven and a half. They're 54 and 43. In the American League, the Yankees by nine. Someone is going to have to reel them in, or else the battle will just be for second place. I'm Ron Juckett. Glad you could join us tonight. We'll talk to you tomorrow at lunchtime for the Dodgers and the Cardinals. Until then, have a good night, everybody. So long.